So don't don't ask. I, I have on this sweater because I have on a shirt that has the name of my company on there that I, I am working for for the last six days. Um, and I don't want to reveal who I'm speaking of. <laughs> I am leaning on a prayer uh, while I stay here. I, I am over it. <laughs> And get it over with. Um, just because I'm well aware that not only am I fed up with this place, I'm aware that the people here, they really don't want me here anymore. As much as they fake the funk until I leave, just in case they need something for me, I am well aware that it's time to catch go. So, um, these the probably the past three to four months have been really tough for me trying to have balance with working in a gym uh being a traveling trainer and coming here and i i can't do i can't do it all so it's time to go um it wasn't necessarily by my choice but i do i honestly believe with my whole heart that God really wanted me to move and he knew I, I, I'm i so loyal I will stay um, until I get the perfect nudge to leave and so the perfect nudge was what happened um, attempting to be as open to what I'm learning what I'm supposed to learn with everyone's attitude with the way that everyone's moving in the office I want to be able to be aware so I don't repeat this S-H-I-T, a game. Um, my prayer, my hope, my belief, I'm sure that I would never work for another company again unless I am, um, if unless I am, you know, uh, uh, working with a company concerning what I'm doing. And it's a blessing, it really is, but the enemy don't like when you rising up, you know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't be too happy, you know? He be, he, he be pretty pissed, you know? Especially when the girl follow your dream. When the, when the girls follow they, their dreams and they're not afraid or they are afraid, but they keep going, the enemy really don't know how to take that. And so he brings all that he can to distract you from the purpose, from where you're going, from how you're moving, from what you're doing. And um, I'm well aware that that's happening right now. I'm also aware that conversations that I had with my mom and my sister about people are always looking at you, you know, even when you don't think people are looking, they're watching you, they're watching your moves. You know, people are obsessed with if you are moving forward and, and they are stagnant or they are content with where they are. Um, and it was like, I had not been listening to my own advice so the way that everything happened here it was triggering and i was tried know that your girl was tried but i bounced back i am also a child of the king and i know how to move in a garden full of snakes you hear me you you hear me i I know I have learned. I have, I don't know if I've mastered, but I know how to move in a garden full of snakes, bro. And so follow me as I begin this amazing journey of I don't I, I don't I don't know where it's gonna take me. I have stuff I've written down. I do know where it's gonna take me, but let's 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 prosper, let's move on. Um Let's exit stage left. Okay? I'm ready to exit. <sighs> so in the next six days, I will be... I mean, six, six business days, rather. I will be heavy in prayer, heavy in focus, heavy in directing my creativity to what I am doing, to what I know. I know I've literally been pushed to do. This is week two of entrepreneurship full time. Uh, first week was really hard for me just because I was so used to an, a, like a discreet and exact schedule that um, I was still like popping up thinking about alarms and oh, I'm supposed to be here. Or, oh, I need to clock in. Or, oh, did I clock out? Like 
stuff that I had really become a habit to me that I wasn't aware that had become a habit to me really um all of that registered last week and I was, I was determined to get out of that that anxious mindset that I've been in for uh, mostly a year and a half <laughs> um have I been scared lately a little um just because things change and people change and the thing about being an entrepreneur is that you can have a client and then a client leaves and then you're like okay so I was, I was always able to fall back on having that corporate job to take care of the slack that sometimes happens so being out here completely um I first thank God for a supportive fiance about to be husband it's just it's just a transition um it's just like i guess when you would get a new job and you're trying to get in the flow of how things work making sure that i take out the right time to do my workouts that i actually record because it's a part of my job now we're stepping into march next month so march is about to be stupid um just as far as the schedule goes you know and so once again factoring in all of the stuff that I have to do for my business for the thing that now is my first priority because I have no I have no other excuse now so um just making sure my time is used is so important to me right now but also making sure that I don't go too hard on myself about the time that I use so yesterday I went to go pick up my giraffe <laughs> this is not funny Good news and bad news. Um, great things about being a trainer and sometimes cons about being a trainer. I have been working on a program with my dear friend, uh, Lauren. Um, I've been bouncing it out maybe one and a half days of upper, upper body, mostly my lower body. But I do do cardio and I don't just limit myself to just like running and jumping jacks. I do do like rope and roll, all of the different ways you can do cardio. So. Um, I go and pick up my dress yesterday and our fear was because I had been doing a program that my butt <clears throat> was, wasn't going to be able to fit in the dress because of the way that the dress is made. And um, when I put the dress on, got to the butt area and I was like, Jesus. And you know, it was, it's, it's, it's holding it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it fits like a glove. But once I got to my back, that back let me say something to you it 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 i was we were nervous we were nervous so i am now limited to only cardio and abs until the wedding that's just it i'm not lifting another weight because i don't want to expand my back and the thing is about a lot of exercises is if you're doing them the right way they require more than just the actual muscles that you're using Granted, your primary muscles are your primary muscles, but you do have secondary muscles that you're using to help or that are supposed to be um, exercising that in that in that movement too. So your girl is like, you know how they be like a no carb diet. Your girl is on a no weight diet until March 27th. Okay. The pandemic. This is really my first vlog since the pandemic. Nothing really significant happened today while I was cleaning up. I use Sundays to kind of clean up and of course it's the beginning of the week so I use it to kind of restart, do my workout plans, write out my schedule and everything. And um, right at, at like literally the last thing I had to do while I was cleaning up, I saw something online from a person who I was really upset with maybe come March, May, I'm sure for sure, April, April, May, I was, I was pissed. Um, at this individual in the midst of you know i guess just thinking because majority of the time i turn on music when i work when i mean when i clean up but I, i've just been cleaning in silence today uh watching a few youtube videos but really cleaning in silence and it hit me on why everything happened the way that it happened from like march to now when i lost my job in february february 14th was my last day when i lost my job um, of course, you know, I've been working on my business while I'm working because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to spend at least half the amount of time working on your your stuff before you work for somebody else's dream that you don't, you know, you don't get any benefit from. So 
I've been working and doing a lot of my own things, kind of preparing myself to go full-blown entrepreneurship. But I just, of course, didn't know how in the hell I was going to do it. And of course, I'm scared because I, although I have a very supportive fiance, I still, I'm very independent. I, what I learned, because, you know, the beginning of this video, you saw like me on edge about knowing it was time for me to go until now. And, and it's taken me since February and today is um, July the 19th. It's taken me since February until now. It finally clicked on why things happened the way that they did. Whether you believe in God or not, I know that God knows his kids. Um, and I was raised by a very loyal person. Ugh. And I hate it sometimes because my mom is, she's a Taurus and then she's just loyal. Then she just like, she just cut for you. And so her children have the personalities of her, but they're of course magnified. They are worse. We cut for people a really long time knowing that we should let them go. But with this situation, I really didn't even see it coming. So that's why I think it hit as hard as it did emotionally for me because things just kind of changed. And I'm a person of pattern and repetition. I love habit. If you do anything out of the ordinary, I'm looking at you sideways. And it hit me because it's like, I think God did it the way that he did it. Because had he not did it the way that he did it, I would not have been able to go full throttle into my business, my company, my baby, my brand. I the, These past months of me being, me working virtually, 80% um, of my clients are virtually, um, I've gotten a chance to like really become creative and really figure out what type of training I want to do because it makes the difference. Um, and because I was, I'm still a baby. I'm not, I'm not six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 15 years. I have the experience. I've been an athlete my whole life, but the structure of being a trainer is still very new to me and I'm still learning so much. And so had the situation not happened the way that it did, I would not be as invested in my thing as I am now. And it trips me out because it was like I had almost not even lost because I think I'm still discovering all that I sweat is. I was stunning myself. And now that I think back on it, I'm like, God damn, Joycelyn, just <laughs> stunning myself because I feel because I'm I'm still a student that I the way that I do it ain't right. Or the way that I do it isn't enough. Oh my gosh. But it wasn't until I got away from everything that could distract me that I saw like how amazing this is about to be. And it's not for money. It's not, I don't do this for clicks. I don't care. You know, I post my stuff and I don't, I'm not concerned about how many people watch. But it's really, it's really, it's a personal thing. It's for me to see the evolution. And it's just like, dang, had I had what in my mind in March, April, May, I wanted to have been happen, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to do freely what I'm doing and what I'm creating. And, but it was like, dang, that's why he did it. Because the loyalty that I have to people is so strong. Sometimes it's detrimental to my gift. Sometimes it delays everything that I'm trying to do. Because I get so caught up in trying to make sure that so many people are being as great as they can. I almost forget that that's not my purpose. I have my own purpose. My purpose isn't just to see what is in other people. It's to go ahead and go forth with what you're supposed to be doing. So I, I, I'm supposed to record, I was supposed to put out a video on Saturday. Today is Sunday. And I just didn't have the right amount, like footage, it, it didn't flow. 
and I needed things to flow so this episode could be complete. But my. So on a Sunday, in the midst of me cleaning up my house, I've had a revelation for myself. Healing, coming back to the calm before she wrote while she sweats, I think that's what I'm going to call it now, is um is an amazing thing because I didn't know what I was doing when I was doing the calm before she wrote. I knew I was um, embarking on a journey of purpose, but I just didn't know what it is. And the calm before she wrote as she sweats has figured it out. And now I'm just trying to walk this thing out um, and be great at it. I think what I'm doing is helping out people in the same way how sometimes I try to do it and it ended up backfiring. This is this 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 is your route. Like this this is what you need to be doing. Not trying to save this and do it this way. Carry this method, take it forth. Be great with it. Be transparent. Let the people know the days it sucks, the days it don't suck, and keep it moving. So I'm so excited that in February I lost my job. It's been a blessing. It's been it's it's been a roller coaster because that's life. But it's been a blessing nonetheless. And, and today it dawned on me in a bigger way than it did before. My moves now are so are so much bigger than what they were before because I had something else attached to it. Now this is just me. This 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 is gonna be whatever it's gonna be. It's it's, it's gonna be good. So I appreciate all of you guys if y'all have watched it this far. Um, you know I was a day late, but it seems to it, it makes sense to me. So I, I, I charge it to my head and not my heart. Make sure that you are aware when a distraction is there and be able to decipher between if it's a distraction or if it is a distraction, is it was a distraction needed to take you to somewhere greater? Because three months ago I was upset and I didn't get it all the way. But now it, it's like it had out, had it been my way, I wouldn't be here. Mm. I love y'all. Please subscribe um, to my page, like, comment. I'll be doing, of course, all of my workout videos during the week. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, the calm before she wrote, as she sweats. Vlog episode one. <laughs> Happy Sunday, y'all.